Good morning from Port Barton. It's in Palawan Island, about halfway up Palawan Island. It was about two and a half hour drive from Porto Princesa, the capital. So we went north and it's on the west coast, I would say. So I'm, a, I'm gonna start this video up here and I wanna get a bit of the town in I want to do a little bit of a walk around today because it's, it's definitely not beach weather. In fact, it's been pouring down, but the rain has given me a, a nice chance to meet my neighbours where I am. Uh, I've got an English girl called Sophia, very nice, and a Canadian guy called Matthew, and we had a nice long conversation. And I love love talking about travel and. They've probably done it, well, they might have done more than me. But it was, it was nice to speak to them. So I'm gonna take you through the town, take you down to the beach, and we'll have to make the best of a bad day. Hello, my own Buntag. Um, I'm just talking, I'm just making a video. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll feature your place. <laughs> is it your place? Yeah. Okay, so this is called the Moon Bar. Yeah, we have a Facebook account called the Moon Bar. All right, uh, uh, do, uh, while I'm here, do you, what's your name? Uh, my name's Mark, I'm sorry. Max? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm yet you, yeah, I'm it doesn't manager. matter. I'm the manager of this uh, property. And, um, is it Max? Ma M-A-C. And, uh, oh, Max. Yeah. Right. Uh, you can have tag or mention us to our Facebook, um, Moon Bar. Moon Bar, all right. Uh, well, Moon Bar Park, Barton. I'll give you a good plug on this. Thank you so much. It yeah. was, it'll Enjoy be it. seen by Enjoy at least place. 10 people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're open um, tonight, starts at 6 p.m. And we have a live music performer here. Oh, right. And disco party until 3 in the morning. Oh, for, uh, that's a bit late for me, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or some dinner at least. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll have a look at the menu just now. Yes. Okay, thank All you, right. thank you, Matt. So this, where's the music, where do they play the music, up here? Uh, inside. Oh, inside, all right, oh yeah, it makes sense with this weather. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that was Matt, you, you can get an impression of the beach and the islands. So yesterday I did an island hopping tour more of an island hoping tour because we got we got to a sandbar and we stopped there I don't really know why but they're supposed to stop at four four to six islands but we only got two so the second island we stopped at was was a, a proper island with a um, like a coral reef there really beautiful coral reef that was worthwhile and then it they made lunch for us there, a really nice lunch as well, but I couldn't really video anything. It was just so uncomfortable. The whole, the whole day was uncomfortable, but swimming was really lovely and the water was really warm. So I've got, I've got some, I made a video of the coal, but that's about all that I did because the, the, the ship was, the boat ship, boat. The craft was just uh, anchored off the, uh, so you'd have to go into, to the water to get to the boat and all my stuff was kept dry underneath the hold so I didn't want it to get wet um, so I thought I'd do this video today even though it's it's dry for a little while which is now and it just the rain picks up pretty quickly and pretty unexpectedly and pretty hard so you can see these are the islands so if you see I can't zoom in on this unfortunately, I'm trying. Um, if you can see the two I first two islands, it's the one behind that we went to. And oh we had a lovely lunch. It was really, really nice there. Um, but it was really it was really cold and it's really windy and it's really wet. So it's really 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 everything. So this is one of the bars here. So we're on a, a, a little hill here. And call it a mountain. So this is the bar. This is his sign. We'll just walk around here to the top to the top bit. It might even get a better view from up there. I, I, I doubt it. 
This is a, so they've live, as he said, they have live music every night. And most places you go in here, you can you can just wander around there. They don't mind you. You're a potential future customer as well. But you don't you don't get anyone saying, "Oh no, keep out! You're not allowed in there." So I'm it was a good investment buying this umbrella, Ella. It was only cheap one. I had a nice breakfast this morning. Uh, they called it an American breakfast, uh, but it was like like a full English, and that was 300 peso, which I put down there. It was under five pounds. So here's the only customer today. Teddy bear looking very relaxed there and he's about to light up a cigarette oh and I can show you my accommodation as well I'll go down the hill and I'll show you my accommodation there's some of the lighting oh, it's, it's all solar so it looks like they're building another part my own buntag So it looks like they're building another part. Maybe it's it's on another plot. This is this part of Moonbar. Not Moonbar. All right. Oh, this is interesting. There's the comfort rooms up there. And oh, there's another little balcony up there let's go to the top one oh, oh even better view because you can see a lot of the bay from up here so we'll be down there just now and we'll get a bird's eye view. It's a beautiful beach. Oh, if it was, if it was nice or weather, it'd be great swimming and, and snorkeling from it. So a lovely place up here. I'm gonna walk down the hill and give you guys, give you guys a breather. If you need a breather. Okay, see you just now. So the place where I'm staying is called Bundal Riverside. I don't know what Bundal means, but here's the river. It is over there, and this is the river. So the river's quite high compared to what it was yesterday. We'll just go in and have a look. Um, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a state getting in. Oh, sorry. Uh, no rain now. So it's colourful um, Bundell Riverside. Here it is. Found it through uh, booking.com. So the man who runs this, I haven't met his wife, but his name is Leslie. And I think he lives in this orange one. And I'll just take you through there. Um, it's got like little cottages all the way around in a circle. And this is like a central place um, to do. I don't know what, I don't know what to do. So there's three little, houses here I'm the middle one hoping my towel will dry right so there's a nice little balcony patio area here I've got to take my shoes off I won't be in here for long come into my crib
So I'm I'm sorry I haven't cleared up for you. So no no aircon, but basically it's got a fan and that's all you really need here. Um, I didn't miss aircon at all. The fan is way good enough. And there's a desk which is a bit of a mess at the moment. And there's this lovely picture of the beach. I assume it's the beach at Port Barton. So I don't know, need to go down to the beach. I've got it all here. Some lovely paintings here. There's one just outside. So the, the fan, there's a place to store your clothes. And you know, it's got a light as well. So I'm just drying a few things here. Um, it's hardly worth unpacking because uh, I'm in for three nights. That's what I'm here for. And the, the bathroom, very basic. Um, toilet, there's, a, there's like a lip there so the water doesn't go all over the toilet area. Shower, cold water, but that's fine. Um, and basically, the sinks, are, the sinks around here. One gun, nothing unusual, but it's got a couple of benches in there so you can sit down here and do your work. We've got internet's pretty good. So basically that's all that's all you need for a couple of days. Let's turn everything off. I think Argentinians have been here at one stage. So let's Let's walk around the town. Let's walk around town, let's. Oops. A little bridge here. Let's take you over the river. I don't know if we're coming into the main part of town. Uh, but the trouble, the trouble here is um, there are these paved roads, but if you go further on to the bus station, it's unpaved roads and it's just a mud quag quagmire. It's a chicken's going to cross the road. I don't know why. Use your, use your chickens and stray dogs. I think every every single town has them. Got a few local shops here. There's, it looks like a pet food shop. There's a souvenir shop. building a restaurant over there. So it's raining and overcast but it's still it's still really warm. Oh it's the bus. It comes I didn't realise it comes down here. I think that's a local bus. San Vincente is a, another place near here. It's just up the just up the coast, north of the coast. So the town only consists of a few a few streets about three rows back from the beach um, it is a fairly big town so I haven't really looked around here much I've only got today to do it it's not going on so well need though tomorrow
Ein guter Tag. Ja. Ja. You on YouTube. Ja, ich bin The best bananas in Port Barton. Ja, the best But banana. Well, they're not the only bananas. In. And there's some green ones that are not are ripening in there. Thank you. Salamat. So we get to the end of the the actual proper road just at this corner and then the road turns into a, a quagmire but I if I turn left towards the beach it so this place is popular with with backpackers there's always people there I don't know it must be a special place I've never tried it there must be something about it because it's always crowded bit of a quagmire up here. The bus station, the bus station is just up the, up the road here. So pretty close to where I'm staying. Let's go down to the beach. This is where I ate last night and um yeah, barbecue stuff, local fried fried stuff. It was really nice. Fried fish balls, um fried calamari. No, it was, it was nice. And it was cheap as well. Yeah. So even though there's a lot of tourists here, there's pro probably not as many as there are in El Nido. Hey, yeah. Lady Gaga. But, um, There are a fair few, but they're still the locals are still friendly. I think it's hard to get it's hard to get a, an unfriendly Filipino. But it doesn't matter where they are. It's another challenging road. Here, tattoo parlor. Right. Here we go on to the serious business the beach. So it's, it's brightening up a little bit. This is, a, I think, the longest period I can remember without any rain. Be a bit careful here. Hello. How are you? You went without saying goodbye. I think everyone walked up and I'm no. like, why? I'm just going Yeah, I saw. I saw. <laughs> This lady is Cindy. I'm doing a video today. Okay, hi. Do you mind being? Well, it's too late. If you mind being on a video, I can just no, it's cut fine. it out. Yeah. This lady is Cindy. Are you Cindy. a blogger? Huh? Are you a blogger? Yeah, okay. I was on YouTube. Yeah, I wanted to do this today. So, yeah. Cindy is from Canada, uh, from Winni Winnipeg. Yeah. Winnipeg. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, uh, Susie was with us yesterday on that fateful trip. <laughs> that, we didn't, that we survived, but you know, we survived. We it's were a good thing we went yesterday because they didn't go up today. Oh yeah, it's worse. But it's nice now. Yeah. Yeah. I just got the. Uh, I just got like a, a bit of a thing, so I thought I'll make a video today. And all the, you know, all the flights to El Nido were cancelled today. Too. Oh, what? from Port Princesa. From Manila to oh, El Nido, really? they're all cancelled today. Oh, maybe there'll be less people there tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow. Uh, yeah, maybe. I have a friend flying in tomorrow. That's why I looked at the flight status. 
yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it, oh, this is nice. This is nice. Yeah, it's lovely now. I should yeah. maybe go back and get the bathing suit on. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I want, I want to try and go swim on that. I don't know. Which... We should see if the boat guys will give us a free little trip now since our afternoon got cancelled. Okay? <laughs> I'll ask for it and I'll say, say I'm going up that way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because we only had a half of we exactly, only had exactly we only had half a trip. So they just give us the other half but, now. But no one was complaining. <laughs> we were happy to get I was out. I was at one stage sitting at that island and I thought, oh, are we going to actually get off of here tonight? Yeah. Well, there, but, and it wasn't the the actual trip back wasn't too bad, was it? Well, it was cold. But you were sitting on the floor. Explaining. Well, yeah, I was trying to stay warm. Yeah, down there. it was freezing. Yeah. But it's it's yeah. ni nice yeah. to bump into you. Yeah. Okay. You'll, you'll be on me on the vlog. Yeah, you'll, okay. you'll be world famous. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> right. the Oh, it, it doesn't look too good over there. But there is. So, uh, a beautiful beach. Palm trees hanging down, sand, lovely sand, lovely smooth sand, lovely bikinis. And uh, I wouldn't mind getting out this morning, maybe this afternoon, but uh, I think it might be. Uh, it doesn't look too good over there. Uh, I've got my umbrella up here. It's, uh, it's only water. Can on, I can survive. Isn't this lovely just walking on the beach without a care in the world? Just listening to the waves. Wherever you are in the world, hope you don't get too jealous. But all, all we're missing now is blue skies and sunshine. That's about all we're missing. So you can see the island we were at yesterday. It, just beyond those three humps, the bigger one at the back, I think, well, it's before the bigger one at the back. There's lots of islands around here. It really is a beautiful place. And you can ju jump into the sea from these ropes. sign oh this looks like a, this looks like a posh place I have to have a quick look oh I think oh I wonder if it's that place behind where I went to the cafe no I don't think it is it's got a pool and everything it's got a bar here it's got like an infinity pool here This looks quite nice. It'd be nice to relax out here on a nice day. I haven't seen that many posh places out here. It's been mostly backpackers places and little pension houses like the one I'm in oh. I'm gonna turn you off turn you off right now let's let's see and I'll when I come across something interesting I'll turn you on again Ryan, my cabin. So this, 
This is the river where I'm staying. So it eventually comes out here to the sea. I'll try to cross it. But it's very, very muddy. Very, you go really deep into the mud. I'm not going to risk falling over. But this looks like it's a self-propelled crossing. Uh, but there's, there's no one here and I don't fancy taking a chance on that. And there's a boat on the other side. So um, I'm going to walk back and that cloud is, is emptying itself now. So I'll turn it off for the time being. So these are, well, just, just a minute. So these are all mangroves, a mangrove swamps before the beach. So there's a whole massive area of mangroves. Be interesting walking through them, but mangroves usually mean water. And this is sort of a little boat building yard. Right, let's, let's go head up the other end of the beach. 